Hi, I'm Greg with Parent Finder. Let's talk about the photo sizes that we require for your Parent Finder profile and why we require those. And the why is a big deal. Uh, why is because we commercially print your profile and there are certain standards for commercially printing and those are that your photos need to be at least 500k or larger. What's 500k? It's half a meg. And the best way to check the file sizes are before you upload. So I'm going to go to my computer. And here I am in the Phelps family folder. And I have a folder titled Photos. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to go to Greg and Keeley's AT trip because I want to use some of those in our profile. I'll click on that. And you see that I've named some. And uh, I have also just done a camera upload. I have an iPhone 6. iPhone 6 generally take photos over 2 meg, provided that you haven't edited those photos on your phone. If you have an iPhone 5, then you're looking at something between 1 and 2 meg, so plenty big enough. And, uh, and for Androids, it's pretty much the same way. The more current Android that you have, the larger the photos that it takes. So let's go here to Greg on McAfee. There are a couple of different ways that we can check the file size there. One is to just hover over that file. And you can see the information coming up says it's a JPEG image. It's unrated. Gives you the dimensions. And then it says that this photo is 2.43 meg, which is plenty big enough. Another way to do it is to click on it once. That's going to give you the information down here, all the information on the photo, including the size 2.43 meg. So that's two ways that we can tell on the computer. One more way is to open it, come down to properties, and then we scroll down on the detail of the photo, and we come to size, and we see that it's 2.43 meg. So I've shown you three ways on your computer to check the file size of a photo. Now let's go on Parent Finder just in case you've already uploaded some photos and let's see there. So the first thing that we want to do is log in. Here's our test account and enter. So I'm logging in and here I am on the family dashboard page. I'm going to come over here to photos and we're going to notice all the different albums that we have here. And I'm going to be interested in our new album. I come up here to this button that says download images and it's not going to download them immediately. It's going to let us select which ones we want to download. And in doing that, it's also going to give us the size of the photos. So I click on that once and I can see up here in this color bar, the titles of each album. I see our new album. And then I look at the photos in this thumbnail view. I could see the title or the name of the photo and I can look over here and see the size. And I can see that this graduation picture is only 225K, so it's too small. Remember, we need 500K or larger. This one's too small, this one's too small, and so on. Why are these too small? Because I pulled them off Facebook. And pulling them from Facebook or Pinterest or any site online other than maybe Dropbox or a photo storage site is a bad idea. They're all going to be too small and they're going to be too small because Facebook doesn't want to devote a bunch of storage space to store high res photos for you. So they dumb them down or they make them smaller. And so none of these photos in the new album are going to be big enough. So what we would do in that case is delete them and then upload them again directly from our computer, from our camera or the camera on our phone. And that will ensure a, a higher res, better quality photo. There you have it. That's how you check photo sizes. And again, I can't stress the importance of having photos that are at least 500K or larger. Again, if you ever have a question about anything to do with your profile on Parent Finder, feel free to email us info at parentfinder.com.
Thanks for watching.